The night air hung heavy with the scent of jasmine and the promise of a storm as Samantha Ray stood at the edge of the moonlit lake, her emerald eyes fixed on the distant tower, rising from the mist-shrouded forest. The tower where her beloved was imprisoned, cursed by the same dark magic that flowed through her own veins. A sudden gust of wind whipped her raven hair across her face, and Samantha shivered, pulling her black cloak tighter around her slender frame. The silver amulet at her throat pulsed with an eerie light, a reminder of the power she bore, and the price it exacted. Behind her, the grand façade of Ravenwood Manor loomed, its gothic spires and stained-glass windows concealing the rot within. The rot of a family poisoned by ancient sorcery and twisted secrets, a legacy Samantha had spent her whole life trying to escape. But there was no escape. Not for her. She was the firstborn, the inheritor of the Ray family curse. A curse that doomed her to lose everyone she loved, consumed by the very magic she was born to wield. Unless she could find a way to break it. A twig snapped behind her, and Samantha spun around, hand flying to the dagger hidden beneath her cloak. Her heart raced as a figure emerged from the shadows, tall and cloaked in midnight blue. Prince Damien, she breathed, relaxing her grip on the dagger. You shouldn't be here. If my stepmother finds out, I don't care. Damien stepped closer, his ice-blue eyes blazing in the darkness. I won't let you face this alone, Samantha. Curse be damned. She shook her head, even as her traitorous heart leaped at his nearness. You don't understand. The curse will destroy you, just like it destroyed my father. Just like it will destroy me. Her voice broke on the last word. Damien took her face in his hands, his touch igniting a firestorm beneath her skin. Then we'll destroy it first. Samantha stared up at him, torn between fear and a desperate, reckless hope. How? By doing the one thing your stepmother fears most. He leaned down, his lips a whisper from hers. By embracing the forbidden. Then he was kissing her, and the world fell away, replaced by a surge of magic so potent, it stole her breath. In that moment, Samantha knew their love was more than just a force of nature. It was a weapon, forged in the very heart of darkness. A weapon they would need if they were to survive the battle to come. For in the tower beyond the lake, an ancient evil stirred. An evil with the power to consume kingdoms and souls and it hungered for Samantha's most of all. The Great Hall of Ravenwood Manor was a cavernous expanse of shadow and flickering candlelight as Samantha slipped through the towering oak doors, her footsteps echoing on the black marble floor. Portraits of her ancestors lined the walls, their eyes seeming to follow her every move with silent condemnation. At the far end of the hall, her stepmother sat on a throne of twisted ebony, a silver goblet in her bony hand. Raven, her familiar, perched on the back of the throne, its beady eyes glinting with malice. Samantha, Lilith purred, her voice as smooth and cold as the silk of her gown. What an unexpected pleasure. Samantha stopped before the dais, chin lifted in defiance even as her heart raced beneath the bodice of her gown. Spare me the pleasantries, stepmother. We both know you're not happy to see me. And why would that be? Lilith took a languid sip from her goblet, her pale lips stained red. Could it be because you've been conspiring with our enemies? Cavorting with that cursed prince? Samantha's blood ran cold. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, girl. Lilith rose to her feet in a whisper of silk, the goblet clattering to the floor. Raven let out a harsh caw. Did you think I wouldn't notice? that I wouldn't feel the surge of forbidden magic last night by the lake? She descended the dais steps until she stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Samantha, her eyes black pits in the skull-like mask of her face. I should have known you'd be just like your father. Weak, duh. Ruled by emotion. Ready to betray your own blood for love. She spat the last word like a curse. Samantha held her ground, even as fear coiled in her gut. My father was not weak. He knew the curse was evil. He tried to break free, just like I will. You foolish child. Lilith's hand shot out, fingers curling around Samantha's throat. 
black magic crackled in the air between them. The curse is our legacy. Our birthright. It's what makes us strong. She leaned in close, breath cold against Samantha's cheek. You think your love can save you? It will be your undoing. Just like it was your father's. Samantha's eyes widened. What do you mean? What happened to my father? Lilith smiled, a cruel twist of her lips. He tried to break the curse, oh yes, with the help of your mother. They thought their love could conquer all. A harsh laugh. But the curse conquered them. It always does. She released Samantha with a shove, sending her stumbling back. Your father is dead because of his own weakness. Because he dared to defy his destiny. Her eyes glittered with a zealot's fervor. As for your mother, let's just say she serves the curse now. In mind, body, and soul. Horror washed over Samantha in an icy wave. Her mother, the gentlewoman whose face she could barely remember, twisted into something dark and unrecognizable by the family magic. She shook her head, tears burning behind her eyes. No, damn I don't believe you. My mother would never... Believe what you want. Lilith turned away, gliding back up the steps to her throne. But know this, the curse will have what it's owed. And if you continue down this path, it will take your prince and leave his blood on your hands. Samantha's heart clenched painfully. An image flashed before her eyes, Damien broken and lifeless in her arms, blue eyes staring sightlessly at a smoke-filled sky. No, Dao. She wouldn't let that happen. Couldn't. She gathered the shreds of her courage, squaring her shoulders. I will break this cursed stepmother. No matter the cost. I won't let you or the dark magic destroy anyone else that I love. Lilith settled onto her throne, stroking Raven's inky feathers. Bold words, Samantha Dot. Let's hope you have the power to back them up. A smile sharper than any blade. Because I can assure you, I do. The candles guttered and died, plunging the hall into darkness. When they sputtered back to life, Lilith and Raven were gone, leaving only the echo of her parting words. I'm the least of what you should fear, dear girl. The soul of House Ravenwood will never let you go, alive. Samantha stood alone in the great hall, shadows pressing in from all sides. Her stepmother's threat rang in her ears, as potent as a death knell. But beneath the fear, a flicker of something else kindled in her heart. Something fierce and bright and unbreakable. Hope. Hell. For herself. For Damien. For the love that burned between them. She would find a way to shatter these cursed bonds. To uncover the truth of her father's fate. And save her mother from the darkness. Even if she had to venture into the deepest heart of the curse to do it. Even if it cost her everything. With a last defiant look at the empty throne, Samantha turned and strode from the hall, the silver amulet at her throat pulsing in time with her steps. The battle for her soul had only just begun. The forest was a labyrinth of mist and moonlight as Samantha picked her way through the undergrowth, her black cloak snagging on twisted roots and thorny brambles. The silver amulet at her throat pulsed with an urgent rhythm, guiding her deeper into the heart of the cursed woods to the place where the secrets of her family's dark legacy lay buried. Samantha's mind raced as she walked, her stepmother's words echoing in her head. Her father dead because of the curse. Her mother, a servant to its twisted power. And Damien? Her heart clenched. She couldn't let the curse claim him, too. No matter what it took, she would find a way to break its hold, to free them all from the shadows of Ravenwood's past. A twig snapped behind her, and Samantha whirled, hand flying to the dagger at her hip. But it was only a raven, perched on a gnarled branch, its black eyes glittering with uncanny intelligence. Hello, my friend, Samantha murmured, relaxing her grip on the dagger. Have you come to guide me? The raven cocked its head, letting out a soft caw. Then it took flight, wings beating the misty air as it soared deeper into the forest. Samantha followed, her steps quickening as the amulet's pulsing grew more insistent. She knew the stories, 
the tales of the ancient tree at the heart of the woods, the one that held the secrets of the curse. If she could just reach it, just uncover its mysteries. The mist parted and Samantha stopped short, her breath catching in her throat. There, rising from a carpet of bone-white flowers, stood a tree unlike any she had ever seen. Its trunk was twisted and gnarled, its bark black as midnight. And carved into its surface, glowing with an eerie silver light, was a door. The door to the crypt. The resting place of the first Ravenwood. Samantha approached slowly, her heart pounding. The raven perched on a branch above the door, watching her with those fathomless eyes. This is it, she whispered, reaching out to trace the glowing sigils with a trembling finger. The key to breaking the curse. But as her skin made contact with the bark, a jolt of icy magic shot through her, sending her stumbling back with a cry. The raven let out a harsh caw, its eyes flashing red. And then, from the depths of the crypt, a voice spoke, a voice as ancient and unearthly as the tree itself. Who dares disturb the slumber of the first? Samantha steadied herself, squaring her shoulders. I am Samantha Ray, firstborn of the Ravenwood line. I come seeking the truth of my family's curse. A long, considering pause. Then, enter, child of Ravenwood. But beware. The truth you seek may be your undoing. The door swung open with a groaning creak, revealing a staircase descending into darkness. The raven took flight, disappearing into the crypt's depths with a flutter of black wings. Samantha gathered her courage and stepped over the threshold, the amulet at her throat flaring brightly. The door slammed shut behind her, sealing her in with the secrets of the past. As she descended the stairs, the air grew colder, the darkness more oppressive. Whispers seemed to echo from the stone walls, fragments of long-forgotten spells and ancient rites. And then, at the bottom of the staircase, a chamber opened up before her. A chamber lit by the eerie glow of a thousand candles, their flames casting flickering shadows on the walls. In the center of the chamber stood a stone sarcophagus, its surface carved with the same glowing sigils as the door. And atop it, lying in an eternal repose, Father, Samantha breathed, tears springing to her eyes, for it was him preserved by some dark magic, his face as young and unmarked as the day he died. In his clasped hands, he held a silvery orb, pulsing with the same light as her amulet. Samantha approached the sarcophagus, her heart in her throat. She reached out, fingers brushing the cool metal of the orb, and the world exploded in a blast of blinding silver light. Images assaulted her, fragments of memory and vision, past and future colliding in a dizzying kaleidoscope. Her father, locked in a desperate battle with a figure cloaked in shadow. Her mother, eyes black as night, chanting words of dark power. Damien, lifeless in her arms, blood staining the snow beneath them crimson. And through it all, the curse, pulsing like a living thing, feeding on the pain and sorrow of generations. Samantha wrenched her hand back with a gasp, the visions shattering like glass. She stared down at her father's still form, understanding dawning cold and stark. The curse wasn't just magic. It was alive, a malevolent force with a hunger all its own. And it would consume them all, unless she found a way to stop it. An impossible task, a voice said from the shadows. As your father learned to his sorrow, Samantha spun, dagger leaping into her hand. From the darkness stepped a figure in a hooded black cloak, face obscured. Who are you? Samantha demanded, magic crackling at her fingertips. Another servant of the curse? The figure laughed, a sound like bones rattling in a crypt. Oh, my dear girl. Pale hands reached up, pushing back the hood to reveal. Mother, Samantha whispered, the dagger tumbling from her nerveless fingers for it was her, but not her. Those beloved features twisted into a mask of cruelty, eyes black as the void. Power crackled around her like a living thing, dark and hungry. Hello, daughter, she said, 
lips curving in a smile sharper than any blade. Welcome home. Why do you in a bane? And the shadows rushed in, cold and merciless, swallowing Samantha in their icy embrace as her mother's laughter echoed in the dark. Darkness. Cold and endless, wrapping around Samantha like a shroud, stealing the breath from her lungs and the warmth from her bones. She drifted in the void, untethered, the memory of her mother's twisted face and cruel laughter echoing in the emptiness. Was this death? The curse's final victory, claiming her, just as it had claimed her father? No. Death would be a mercy compared to this. This was something far worse. A waking nightmare, a prison of shadow and sorrow, where she would remain trapped for all eternity. Alone. Forsaken. Forgotten. Just like her father. Despair welled up in Samantha, bitter as bile. She had failed. Failed her father. Failed Damien. Failed herself. The curse had won, as it always did. As it always would. She felt herself sinking deeper into the darkness, the icy tendrils of the void wrapping tighter around her heart. What was the point in fighting? In struggling against a fate that had been sealed long before she was born? Better to let go. To surrender to the nothingness and fade away, like a candle flame snuffed out by the wind. But as she began to slip away, a voice whispered through the darkness, a voice as familiar as her own heartbeat. Samantha. Dada. Her eyes flew open. Damien. He stood before her, a beacon of light in the endless black. His ice-blue eyes blazed with determination, with a love fierce enough to shatter worlds. Fight, my love, he said, reaching for her through the shadows. Don't let the curse win. Don't let it take you from me. Samantha stared at him, tears streaking her face. I can't. It's too strong. I'm not enough. You, you are. You are. Damien's hand closed around hers, warm and solid and real. You're stronger than the curse, Samantha. Stronger than the darkness. Our love is stronger. And with his touch, the void began to crack, fissures of light spiderwebbing through the endless black. The icy grip on Samantha's heart loosened, the despair and sorrow melting away like frost beneath the sun. She felt something kindling in her chest, bright and fierce and unquenchable. Hope. <sighs> Hope. Love. Love. The unbreakable spirit of the Ravenwood line, the same spirit that had driven her father to fight the curse until his last breath. The same spirit that now surged through Samantha's veins, burning away the shadows and filling her with a strength she'd never known. She clasped Damien's hand tight, pulling herself out of the void's clutches and back into the light. The darkness shattered around her like glass, and she emerged into the crypt, gasping and shaking but alive. Alive and free. Her mother stood before the sarcophagus, her face a mask of shock and fury. Impossible, she hissed, black magic crackling around her like a storm. You should be lost. Broken. How did you... Love, Samantha said, rising to her feet. Damien stood at her side, their hands still clasped, their combined power thrumming through the air like a living thing. The one force the curse can never defeat. Her mother's eyes narrowed. Luff, she spat. Love is weakness. Your father's love for me didn't save him. It condemned him. No. Dot. Samantha shook her head, understanding dawning bright and clear. It wasn't his love that condemned him. It was your hatred, your envy. You couldn't bear to see him break free of the curse, so you made sure he never would. You know nothing, foolish girl. Her mother raised her hands, black fire gathering in her palms. But you will. Oh, you will. The flames roared towards Samantha, hungry and searing. But Damien was there, ice leaping from his fingertips to meet the fire in a hissing clash of elements. Steam filled the crypt thick and scalding. Through the haze, Samantha saw her mother's face, twisted in a rictus of rage and hatred. And she knew with a certainty as cold as the grave that this woman was not her mother. Not anymore. She was a husk, a shell, 
hollowed out by the curse and filled with its malevolence. Just like Lilith. Just like every Ravenwood who had come before, consumed by the darkness they thought to control. But Samantha would not be consumed. She would not succumb. She raised the silver orb high, feeling its power surge through her like a rising tide. The amulet at her throat blazed with blinding light, and the sigils on the sarcophagus flared in response. I am Samantha Ray, she declared, her voice ringing through the crypt. Firstborn of the Ravenwood line. And by the power in my blood, by the love in my heart, I break this curse. Now and forevermore. The orb shattered in her hand, shards of silver light piercing the darkness. The crypt shook with the force of it, stone cracking, candles guttering. Her mother screamed, a sound of utter anguish and fury, as the black fire died in her hands. And then, silence. Stillness. The curse. Unraveling like a skein of tangled thread, its power dissipating into the ether. Samantha lowered her hand, breathing hard. It was over. After generations of sorrow and darkness, the Ravenwood curse was broken. They were free. But as the dust settled, as the echoes faded, a new sound filled the crypt. A sound that chilled Samantha's blood and turned her joy to ashes in her mouth. Laughter, dar, cold, mocking, triumphant. And it was coming from the sarcophagus. Samantha turned, dread a leaden weight in her stomach. The lid of the sarcophagus was cracked, pushed aside. And rising from within, clad in robes of deepest midnight, was a figure she knew all too well. You? she whispered, horror and recognition mingling in her voice. It can't be... Lilith smiled, her eyes glittering with malice. Oh, but it can, dear girl. She stepped from the sarcophagus, shadows clinging to her like a living cloak. Did you really think it would be so easy? That breaking the curse would defeat me? She laughed again, the sound echoing in the sudden terrible silence. I am the curse, Samantha. I am the darkness at the heart of Ravenwood. And now, thanks to you, her smile widened showing teeth sharp as knives. I am free. And the shadows rushed in once more, cold and hungry, swallowing Samantha and Damien in their merciless embrace as Lilith's laughter rang through the crypt, a promise and a threat woven into one. The true battle was only just beginning. And this time, there would be no escape. The shadows swirled around Samantha, icy and suffocating, Lilith's mocking laughter echoing in the void. But this time, Samantha didn't sink into despair. This time, she fought. She reached for Damien through the darkness, their hands clasping, their magic mingling. The silver light of the amulet flared, piercing the shadows, driving them back. They emerged from the void together, standing tall and defiant before Lilith. The crypt shook with the force of their combined power, the air crackling with elemental energy. You're wrong, Lilith, Samantha said, her voice ringing with conviction. You're not the curse. You're not the darkness at the heart of Ravenwood. You're just another victim, twisted by its malevolence. Lilith's eyes flashed, her face contorting in rage. I am no victim, she snarled. I am the mistress of shadows, the queen of the damned. And you, little girl, are nothing but a pawn in a game you cannot hope to understand. She raised her hands, black fire roaring to life in her palms. But Samantha was ready. She met the flames with a blast of silver light, the two forces colliding in a searing explosion. The crypt shook, stone cracking, dust raining down. But Samantha held firm, pouring all her strength, all her love, into the amulet's power. I understand more than you know, she said, her voice steady despite the strain. I understand that the curse feeds on pain, on sorrow, on the darkest parts of the soul. But it can't feed on love. It can't touch the light within us. She met Lilith's gaze, unflinching. That's why you failed, Lilith. That's why the curse consumed you. Because you let your hatred, your envy, your bitterness rule you. You let it snuff out the light. Lilith faltered, 
the black fire flickering. For a moment, just a moment, uncertainty clouded her eyes. Samantha pressed on, the silver light growing brighter. But it's not too late. You can choose a different path. You can choose to let go of the darkness, to embrace the light. Just like my father did. At the mention of her husband, Lilith flinched as if struck. The black fire died in her hands, her face crumpling. Your father, she whispered, voice raw with a grief, long buried. I loved him. More than power, more than magic, more than anything. But the curse, it twisted that love, poisoned it, turned it into something dark and ugly. Tears slipped down her cheeks, leaving tracks in the dust and grime. I couldn't bear to see him break free, to see him choose you and the light over me. So I made sure he never could. Samantha's heart clenched, sorrow and sympathy welling up despite everything. I know, she said softly. But that wasn't love, Lilith. That was the curse, using your pain, your fear, against you. Against all of us. She held out her hand, the silver light pulsing gently. But we can end this, here and now. We can break the cycle of darkness, of suffering. Together. For a long, tense moment, Lilith stared at Samantha's outstretched hand, conflict raging in her eyes. Then, slowly, tremulously, she reached out. A blast of icy wind howled through the crypt, slamming into Lilith and sending her flying. She hit the far wall with a sickening crack, crumpling to the ground in a broken heap. Samantha spun, magic flaring to see a figure standing in the doorway of the crypt. A figure clad in robes of deepest midnight, with eyes as cold and pitiless as the grave. You, she breathed, horror and recognition dawning. The first raven would, dot. The figure smiled, a cruel twist of thin lips. Indeed, he said, voice as ancient and unearthly as the curse itself. And you, child, have meddled in affairs beyond your ken for the last time. He raised a gnarled hand, and the shadows leapt to his command, surging toward Samantha in a wave of icy malevolence. But Damien was there, ice and light, leaping from his fingers to meet the darkness. The elements clashed in a maelstrom of power, the crypt shaking with the force of it. You can't win, the first raven would hissed, eyes blazing with unholy fury. The curse is eternal unbreakable. It will have what it's owed. No, Samantha said, standing tall amidst the raging storm. The curse ends here. The cycle ends here. With us. She reached for Damien, their hands clasping, their hearts beating as one. The amulet flared with blinding silver light, the power of generations of Ravenwoods flowing through them, pure and cleansing. By the blood in our veins, Samantha intoned, voice ringing with ancient power, by the love in our hearts, by the light that guides us. We release this land, this family, from the curse's grasp, now and forevermore. The light exploded outward, searing, purifying. The first Ravenwood screamed, a sound of utter anguish and fury, as the shadows were burned away, the curse unraveling in a burst of silver radiance. And then, silence. Stillness. The darkness banished. The crypt filled with a soft, gentle glow. Samantha sagged against Damien, exhausted but triumphant. They had done it. They had broken the curse, freed their family from its clutches. But as they turned to leave, hand in hand, a soft groan stopped them in their tracks. Lilith, stirring weakly on the ground, her face a mask of pain and confusion. Samantha rushed to her side, cradling her head gently. Lilith? Can you hear me? Lilith's eyes fluttered open, hazy and unfocused. Samantha? She whispered, voice thin and thready. What? What happened? Where are we? Relief, sharp and sweet, flooded through Samantha. Dot. We're in the crypt, she said softly. But it's over now. The curse is broken. We're free. Tears slipped down Lilith's cheeks, 
but this time, they were tears of joy. Of release. Free, she echoed, wonder and disbelief mingling in her voice. After so long, I never thought. She trailed off, eyes going distant. Your father, she whispered. I can feel him. His presence, his love, for the first time in so long. A smile, soft and tremulous, curved her lips. He's waiting for me. In the light. Her eyes drifted closed, her face going slack. For a terrifying moment, Samantha thought she was gone. Then, she saw the shallow rise and fall of her chest, the peaceful expression on her face. Sleeping. Resting. Free of the curse's torment at last. Samantha looked up at Damien, tears of relief and joy streaking her face. He smiled down at her, love and pride shining in his eyes. Let's go home, he said softly. Home. The word had never sounded so sweet. Together, they lifted Lilith gently, carrying her out of the crypt and into the sunlight. The raven soared above them, a guide and guardian, leading them back to Ravenwood Manor. Back to a new beginning, free of the shadows of the past. But they crossed the threshold of the manor, a chill ran down Samantha's spine. A whisper, cold and insidious, brushed against her mind. You think it's over, child? You think you've won? The voice of the first Ravenwood, faint but unmistakable. The curse may be broken, but the darkness remains. And it will have its due. Samantha shook her head, banishing the whisper. They had won. The curse was broken. The cycle ended. Whatever darkness remained, they would face it together. As a family. As one. The doors of Ravenwood Manor swung shut behind them, sealing away the secrets of the past. But in the shadows of the forest, in the depths of the crypt, something stirred. Something ancient. Something hungry. Waiting. Watching. For the next generation of Ravenwoods to fall into its grasp. Dot.